y'all. Welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I have my July month in review and I don't know where July went. I mean, I was really busy, but it seems like July was here and then now here we are in August, but I did get some accomplishments done. So I'm really excited about that and looking forward to sharing what I've accomplished with you guys as well. The first thing that I did is that I did complete this gorgeous kit from Jaded Gym Shop, and this was called Take a Flight. I love this princess fan art, and I already have it framed. My daughter already wanted it, and I framed it for her, and so we have, we're, we're trying to decide where to put it in her room. She keeps changing her mind, but I didn't want to take it out of the frame, but um, this is her. I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. Looks just like Jasmine. Love the hair, love everything about this. I do have a post review and completion on my channel and I will share that at the top of the eye and also underneath the description if you haven't seen that yet. And also with this one, I have not kitted it down yet. So you will see a kitting down sometime in the future, not exactly sure when, but I am just so grateful that I do have a finish. So I did finish this one, so that's one in July, and in my stack here, I am missing Dragon Lady, and I've been working on that one forever from Lazy River Wood Turning, and that one, I did finish it, but I didn't finish it until August the 1st, and so I didn't wanna put that in my July finishes because it wasn't finished in July, but I didn't want to show you the finish on here when I haven't um, done a post completion. And then also the fact that it's going into August. So I didn't really want to do that. So you will see that completion, a post review and the kitting down. I do have that one for next week. And then for my August in review, you'll see that one as one of my completions. So I'm going to move this one out of the way. So that leaves me now with two on my whips that I have been actively working on. This one is from Diamond Painting Shop. You've seen me work on this on Whippin' Chats if you've been following along. This is called The Moon from Alphonse Mucha, and I was working on this for summer with the Masters. I am now at the halfway mark, a little over, I'll be a little over halfway um, soon, but I think that I will be able to get this completed in August, that's the plan. Because I really focus on Dragon Lady. I want to get that one done, out of the way. And so now I can focus on this one. But I love this one. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I love all the colors. This is a, a rather large one. So I am right here. I have the rest to go. Um, it is some confetti. Um, it's also um, some color blocking. So it shouldn't take me too terribly long. It is a square, so it, that does take a little bit longer. So we move this one out of the way. And then I have this one. This is my big one. This is, I think it's 90 by 100, but it's 220 colors. And this one I absolutely love. I am getting there. I am about 25% to where I will be complete. So I'm 75% complete, have 25% to go. I started working on this little section um, today and I was hoping to get all of that done before I recorded this video, but I wanted to make sure that this went out so it would go out on Thursday morning, but I will get that done and finish that up today. And then all I have left, I have this one at the bottom here, I have these to go, and then I have this. So really not that bad, but I have gotten a lot done on this. Um, the moon is complete at the top. Let's move it down a little bit. I love her face. When you're looking at it very close up, it looks very pixelated, but if you look at it from a distance, she is absolutely stunning. So I have been working on the wing, and so that is taking me a while because it is a lot of confetti in here. I think I will get back to some more color blocking when I get over to this side. So hopefully you will see at least this part done for August and maybe even more. I'm not really sure, but I know I'll start getting really busy in a couple of weeks when work starts back up 
and I will be just extremely busy on campus. So my time will be limited on my diamond paintings. But look how sparkly and gorgeous that this is. And I, mean, I haven't even finished this and I'm already thinking about which kit do I want to start working on and preparing for my next large kit. And it may be a Josephine wall, it may be something else, but I'm going to do something for 2024. I'm going to have a continuous project that I'm going to work on. And I have a really large one from Jay Jim shop that will be coming in probably not till October. And then I have another one from Dreamer Design that is huge. And then of course I have my J walls. So I will decide what I'm going to work on and then let you guys know around November, December-ish. But I hope that this will be finished by the end of the year. That's the plan anyway. But I just really love this rendering. So that's what I've gotten done. I do have some more whips or work in progress that I have put away that's been um, put up all this year that I just have not gone back to. And so I'm going to slowly bring those in as I complete these. So once I complete this one, I'll bring another one in and the same thing for um, the moon. And I'm not sure which one yet, but I will show you guys on an upcoming video whenever I decide that, but I'm not bringing any more in until at least one of these are done. I don't wanna have more than, than three plus the ones that I'm currently working on. I hope that you had a great month for July and that you were able to get some crafting in, whatever that looks like to you and whether you have finished or not, as long as you spent some time for yourself, then I think that is just a win-win. Thanks so much for joining me today and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.